Thanks for staying with us. Now, today is World Wildlife Day. The theme for this year is Forest and Livelihood, Sustaining People and Planet. The theme was chosen as a way to highlight the central role of forest, forest species, ecosystems, service, um, services in sustaining the li livelihoods of hundreds of millions of people globally, and particularly of indigenous and local communities with historic ties to forested and forest adjacent areas. The, uh, the um, aligns with um, United Nations Sustainability Goals. This, sorry, this aligns with the United Nations Sustainability Goals 1, 12, 13, and 15, and their wide ranging commitments on alleviating poverty, ensuring sustainable use of resources, and on conservative life land. Between 200 to 350 million people live within or adjacent to forested areas around the world, relying on various ecosystems um, services provided by forest and forest species for their livelihood and to cover their most basic needs, including food, shelter, energy, and medicine. Now, roughly 28% of the world's large surface is currently managed by indigenous people, including some of the most ecologically intact forests on planet. These species are not only central to their economic and personal well-being, but also to their cultural identities. I think we just have a short video to show for this special day, World Wild Wildlife. Wild, wild, wild life. Wildlife. It's a tongue twister for me. So where's the video? I think um, they have to have the video. Forests are our home. We share it with the most diverse and beautiful plants and animals. There are millions of us around the world calling forests home. Forests and forest species provide for us. They give us everything we need, from food to fresh water and medicines. For thousands of years, forests have cared for us, and we have learned to care for them too. Join us in caring for our homes and all the communities who rely on them. This World Wildlife Day, let us celebrate forests, forest species, and the countless human livelihoods they sustain. All right, so we're trying to do our corporate social responsibilities and <laughs> protect our planet. Important for the planet. <laughs> yes. um, I mean, there's so much to say there about yeah. deforestation. I mean, we're in the midst of the pandemic, and one of the things that has been attributed to the fact that these types of viruses that are zoonotic um, are also going to be on the rise, because as we um, deforestation happens, more wildlife are mixing, yeah. you know, and all of that. So, did you notice how how it was so visible that our climate have really changed? You know, they've been has. talking climate change, climate I change. Know. Last year, we saw mm. how you know, and this year as we're well, seeing it again we're still this seeing year. it this it's year. Really, so, you know, we should take this absolutely. thing seriously when when they talk about it. Let's yeah. not just gloss it over. Yeah, like, I don't think we're doing enough. <laughs> no, yeah, we're not. Spot on. Mm. We're not. All right, so uh, let me come to Tammy first. Tammy, what did you find for us in the news today? All right, so over 2 million Nigerians registered on COVID-19 vaccine website in one day, according to the federal government. So we're aware that you know, the COVID-19 vaccine website was opened. I saw the broadcast messages initially, and I, was, I wasn't sure whether it was true. I later confirmed it was. So this news says that about 2.3 million Nigerians have registered on the online registration platform for COVID-19 vaccination, according to Nigeria's primary health care agency. In less than 24 hours, 2.3 million Nigerians have registered to take the vaccines. And so according to the federal government, you know, when the vaccine, when uh, it's time to take the vaccines, they will start with, you know, the healthcare workers themselves and the frontline workers, and then they move ahead to ensure that everyone gets this vaccine. So, I mean, it's surprising because initially I thought, you know, when Nigeria is really ready to take the vaccine, you know, there's been a lot of comments about who will go first and that, but 2.3 million people register in one day, less than 24 hours. Well, that, that, um, that's very <laughs> impressive to see that they're ready to take the vaccines. And I hope, I hope that, you know, it, it is done in such a an orderly manner and it 
you know, everyone gets to be a part of it. Everyone that's really in that space. I'm sure Uti is one of those two, two over two million people that have registered. I don't, I don't think you saw my outburst on the show last week. Uti, you know? I'm not registered. <laughs> um, I will not be registering. Like, look, I'm surprised, just like you, that 2.3 million people have taken the time to register. Um, we've had, again, this just highlights the fact that we have so many databases. We have all these different places and things where the government continues to gather our data. Why do you need me to come again? And no, tell but they you need to register. That I want the vaccine. No, I don't need to register. Okay. You have my details. You already, you already me. know that I'm you a healthcare worker. Because so, honestly, because I don't think the, this registration makes sense. Because you know why? There are specific people that should take the jab right now. Exactly healthcare frontline point. workers, and so you already have you those know details. The people, you know, you know my age. You mm -hmm. know where I am. I just mm -hmm. did my NIN. I just linked it to my phone number. I mean, I've done so much. So. Mm -hmm. Why do I need to go back to another website and give you my data again? Okay. Come on. All right, so let's take your story. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, my story is quite a sad one. Uh, it's uh, the headline, or rather, it's a video, but it's from uh, the Punch newspaper, and it says, Ogun residents displaced by heads, um, herdsmen's attacks flood Benin Republic. So sad to say that um, the insecurity that we've been seeing rising um, in the southwest is now creating more displaced persons. So now the um, people of Yewa land, which includes places like, um, and forgive my pronunciation, um, Ibeku, Oha, um, Asha, uh, Agbo, Ojodu, uh, quite a few towns like that have now been displaced and they're all finding their way to Bene Republic because of the proximity to Pobe and there's a camp there now. So essentially, right next door to their own homeland, hmm. they've been displaced. And you know, these people are now living essentially as refugees in a country that is, I mean, citizenship is not even the size of, of Lagos State. Wow. You know, so it's, it just heightens the fact that this insecurity problem is happening. What stood out for me in the story was after it talked about the plight of the people, um, the women giving birth, starting to give birth in the camps. The, the last line caught me and it says the Ogun State government is trying to woo them back with rice and other items. Oh my goodness. And I thought... That's so sad. Um, <laughs> surely that must be a mistake in the story. <laughs> because you can't guarantee my safety, but you're going to give me rice. Do you think it's an election? Mm. <laughs> like, it, 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 I mean, it just speaks to the gravity of the problem and we how have, far we, we are. Have, we, have, you know, we have very big challenges in this country. Big, big, big And it's challenges. a clear show of failure of, uh, in leadership. You yeah. know? There's, yeah. no, there's no sugar coat in it. We keep saying it and we'll continue to say it until we see something different. Some now, my action. story is actually tied to insecurity mm. because it says helicopter drops arms for bandits in Benway, Taraba, Borno. That's the um, Arewa Consultative Forum. They are, mm. um, they are alleging that helicopters usually come to drop off, you know, arms, you know, for bandits. And so, yeah. you know, the, go um, the president had um, declared Zamfara a no-fly no zone, fly zone absolutely. yesterday. Yeah. So they are saying that they should extend the no-fly zone order to other states, right. that some of these bandits, you know, are being supported by, the, um, by you know, the, uh, people dropping off, what's it called, arms Ammunition. and everything. Yeah. And the video that uh, EC shared on... I know, right? Alle alle I mean, alle alle allegations, translate. yes, allegations yeah. that they're saying that the government is the ones that supply them, that Fulani headsmen do not know what guns are. They don't know what AK for. They only yeah, know cows. Just know and cows. cows don't birth guns. Mm. Well, ca cows birth calf. So they, I mean, for them to have guns, they are being backed up by government. So this brings me back, back to what Sunny Abacha was just going to say. That says that if insecurity lasts beyond 24 hours, yeah. know that the hand of the government is in it. So who are we kidding in this country? And, and But you see, for me, that's the problem. And that's the thing that I keep asking. And I say, what is the end goal? Mm. Because... At this point, every single Nigerian must admit that we are sitting on a keg of gunpowder. So for the people who are supposedly or allegedly fueling these things and providing these weapons, what is the objective? Because I don't understand it. Maybe if there was some direct correlation that I could pull to I say... The, I, it's clear now that the objective is that they are trying to gather funds because you see they kidnap here, they pay ransom, they do this. They, because what, how to else? End. No, to what end is to continue to be in power, is to continue to fund you know, the elections of, or fund and, 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 and what's it called, put their candidates there. That's, that's near how I'm saying it all. But you know what? It's part of our conversation today. <laughs> so when we take, we'll take a break. When we return from the break, we're going to be discussing um, rights versus impunity. Ha <laughs> ha. Uti is here. She will break it down. Stay with <laughs> us. We'll be right back. <laughs>